Hi everyone. I promised that I would um, show you the uh, resin pour on top of a acrylic pour. So that's what we're going to do. Um, what I want to do is, I would say, let's see. Oh, that's a lot. That's way too much. Well, let's just do that, that amount. Nah, I think I need more. That's about it. 36. And then 72. Oh, done, done too much. So I need six more of the other. That's good because I had 84 for the uh, other record. That's it. Then I still have some left for uh, another pour, I guess. So I'll put this away. Get my little stirring stick. And let's stir for three minutes. See, I stir like I stir eggs or batter for pancakes. But with MasterCast, it doesn't really matter because before you know it, those bubbles will be gone. And we're going to be torching it anyway, so it'll be gone. And I just want to make sure that we have a lot of stirring and mixing and that everything's going to be really swished in there together. As you can see, <coughs> it's not getting warm yet, but in a bit it'll get a little bit warm in your hand. And someone even uh, told me that if you put this in hot water, that it will uh, release the bubbles faster. So if you find this um, not so uh, fine to work with, you put it in some warm water and the bubbles will go. Okay, let me scrape the sides. Never forget the sides, guys, because there's a lot of stuff going on on the sides. There we go. And I'm at two minutes. So we're going to do some more stirring. And what I'm hoping is that all this metallic will pop, because um, I'm seeing a lot of metallic, but not as much as I'd like, because I put a lot of blue metallic in here. So I'd like to see that pop up and make a good appearance. Okay, that's enough. Oh, I didn't cover the hole. Gotta cover the hole. See, what I did do is tape the back. And... Um, why I did that is because if then you get drips, you can just peel it off. But you do have to peel it off pretty fast, like after four or five hours. That's the best thing to do. And I know this isn't level, so I've got to make room here. That's enough room for my record when it's ready. Okay, I think we're ready to do this. <clears throat> zippity doo -dah, and I'm going to do it with my hands. And yes, here comes the beautiful glitter. Yep, it's coming. Can you already see the difference? Yeah, I think you can. And I know they usually do this with some sort of spatula. But I like doing it with my hands because I like getting my hands all yucky. And if I don't watch out, I'll be brushing my hair aside and then tomorrow I can cut more hair. <laughs> then I won't have to go to the hairdresser. Okay, let's see. Look at how this stuff levels. Yeah. This is another pro of Mastercast. Oh, wow. Let me shine it. Oh, wow, yep. 
it's doing exactly what I hoped it would do. And it's not even getting there in the uh, in the hole. That is good. And I don't see a lot of drips on the side. I do see total coverage. Nice little dome at the end. That's what you're going for, right? Ooh, I'm dripping. Ooh, there's hair. Gotta keep the hairs out. Wow, self-leveling. Uh, I wish everything leveled, <laughs> leveled out like this stuff. This is amazing. Can you see that, guys? How smooth? And there was a lot of silicone in this um, in this uh, spinner, but there is no dents. I don't see any. Maybe I'm a little bit blind. No, I don't think so. It is totally, totally flat. And I'll let the light catch it uh, again. See that? It is so flat as can be. And I don't know if you can catch the metallics. I'll have to take it outside, but this here, this is, oops, I dropped a little bit on there. And that doesn't even matter, it just pops, goes. I do have to torch it though, just to make sure the little air bubbles are gone. So I'll do that with my other hand, because I forgot to put two gloves on. Okay, that's that. I got so much left. Look at that. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, I'll put this one away because um, this table isn't level like I told you a couple of times. so much left over I'm gonna do a painting yeah now this painting I'm not sure if I cleaned it but if I didn't we'll see now I didn't get time to put tape on this one so we'll just have to do like this And in my new studio, I will be needing one of those cupboards that you can close that the dust doesn't get in. I will absolutely be needing that. Now, if there are dimples on this one, it'll be my own fault because I'm not sure I cleaned this one. Do the sides a little bit. I just want to see how pretty this is. You know, maybe I'll do a lot more of this uh, resin as a finishing uh, finishing thing. Might be good. This stuff levels out like crazy. I love that. side then I think I got all sides covered oh no here comes a little bit of the silicone this side isn't covered yet wow that looks beautiful Let's see if I've got holes in it. Yeah, here a little bit. And a little one here. Now it's gone. Here's a little one, and there's a little one. I do think you have to rub it in just a little bit more. I 
right side, sides, yep. One more time around the sides. I think we're good to go. Now I'm going to put it down here and I am going to torch it for the last of the little bubbles. I am done. Well, there is dust in it, and that's what that's the only thing that gets to me, the dust. There's a little bit of silicone popping there. Okay, the thing is that when you want to do this, you do the uh, master cast over your uh, canvas. Make sure you, you have it really, really well cleaned. You have to do this with uh, Dawn dish soap because I got that tip online from one of my viewers. They said, you know, when uh, birds are um, brought in uh, after an oil spill, they will clean these feathers with Dawn dish soap and it takes out of all the oil. So if that's good enough for these uh, birds that have been totally immersed in oil, then I guess it'll take off the uh, silicone of our paintings also. So, um, this was just a little try out. See, there's uh, a couple of little craters forming here and there, but that doesn't really matter because um, it's just trying out how this stuff levels and it really, really levels beautifully. So we will just let it uh, do its thing and I'll show you tomorrow. And I just might do another layer on top, you know, to, to be able to sell it because it's it is a, a really pretty pour. So um, from me, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. And I will catch you in the next video. Love you all, guys. Liebe euch alle. Wiedersehen. Bye-bye.